Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of Talk Daily. Uh, today we're going to be talking about cars and we're going to be talking about lifestyle. Let me, let me get this correct. Uh, lifestyle expedition vehicles. Whatever that means. Um, this article comes to us from... It's Motor Trend, Four Wheeler, and it's written by Verna Simmons. And uh, I just want to start with... It's kind of really funny because you see this thing and it's like, what is a military vehicle? And... And the article does a good job explaining it. It goes, blah, 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 English. And then on the bottom it says, the image above. This. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know if you're already reading it. The image above is of a Citroën-based tractor expedition vehicle that was used to cross to explore the Sahara in 1922. Yeah, that thing was exploring. This is a Citroën. It's just nicht ein Mercedes. It's a Citroën. Yeah, of course, it's not. They, they, they have some issues right here when they did the clipping, the thing, the pictures. I don't know what happened right there. They, uh, they kind of messed it up. But anyway, so they're talking about basically this segment of cars. You might have seen it on the road. Whatever you are in the world, you might have seen uh, one of those people have those vans that are kind of designed to conquer the unknown areas in your neighborhood over the hills and uh, i don't know i find this idea to be kind of it's, it's kind of cute you know it's kind of nice like you know oh, i'm gonna go and conquer the the unknown wilderness but uh, i'm not sure if there's any more wilderness left in the world but hey if uh, i think it's more like a survival thing in my opinion it's kind of like if you're a scientist and the expedition you know you know you basically, as I can imagine, right? You're um, documentary, doing documentary out there. So this is the vehicles for you. Uh, as far as like a vacation, why not? I mean, if you have the access to go out there, these vehicles will work. So anyways, I'm going to move along and they're going to describe it. So that's modern expedition vehicle. I, I don't know what I, what, why they show this. I have no idea. They showed a Suburban half ton as a... Uh, it says 1970 uh, Suburban Half Ton is a genius but old school expedition vehicle first purchased by the Smithsonian Institute in 1970. Um, here they're talking basically about this car that were able to go out off-roading in it. Uh, okay, I could see that, you know. Um, uh, th these things, you can fix them with a hammer. Uh, they have a, very, a lot of torque and they're all-wheel drive, so it, it makes sense. Although they weigh a ton. Uh, so they're basically describing that segment. Basically, the wagon that's all-wheel drive and you can go out with it. Uh, if you live in America, this is kind of a no-brainer. Looks like the kind of car is that you could get them kind of cheap well not any more cheap but uh they're loved a lot of people who have them they will fix them up and you can do a lot of things to them usually you don't have to worry about a mission or anything like that when you get a very old vehicle especially 1970 so you don't have to worry about in california smog or whatever you are in what state most likely uh, you can fix it with a hammer you can put a small a brand new small block chevy in it and you you're good to go so uh this is that segment the next one is called the expedition vehicle and Again, it's starting to get kind of weird, but it's basically a van that you put like skid plate underneath it and you jack it up with you in increase the suspension travel and you put a bunch of things in the back and that's supposed to be able to go again, the expedition. So you have basically with your old amenities is basically a hotel on wheels, what we call an RV, but it's more like designed to go off road or an RV meant to stay on the road. So this is kind of like self, I don't want to say the word self-sustained, but a certain degree, it is kind of a self-sustained capsule. And they're talking about how much it costs to upgrade it, you know, $10,000, $30,000, you know, just for the, basically the chassis, the bed, and then the equipment that goes on top of it is something between $150,000, $250,000. A lot of money. Uh, I think, a few million you can go up to a few million of course because you can do whatever you want so that's the expedition vehicle the next one is uh they're asking what's some well-known expedition vehicle brand again all i'm just seeing here is an rv you've seen this a lot there's basically an rv that goes on top of your truck and all the off-roading comes from the truck design so this truck is off-roading and just whatever it's carrying it doesn't matter it could be carrying an rv it could be carrying nothing so, um, and they're talking about what's some well-known brands, uh, you know, it's, um, again, I'll leave a link to the article below, you, you know, you guys could check it out the details, but they're talking about Earth Roamer, Earth Cruiser, Global Expedition Vehicle, Action Mobile, Unicat, and Bliss Mobile, uh, all these different brands, uh, they, they basically will 
build it, fabricate it for you to consume. And that's what I was talking about. If you're not familiar, when you get a truck, that's basically what you're buying. When you, when you see those commercial trucks, you buy them in this format and then you can put whatever you put on top of it. You can put a refrigerator unit. You can put a literally just a bob truck, just an empty box for hauling. You could do whatever. You can have a gate that opens and dumps dirt. And you can put your RV house on top of it, you know. So that's basically what the start from. It's a truck. I they're using a bunch of words like you know expedition vehicle truck. It's just a truck, man. It's just a truck. Um, next, so there you go. See, that's a truck. You could you could see the truck, right? And then obviously the wheels, and you see this nice little bumper right here. And underneath is probably all like uh, underneath the car. It probably has all like the skid pad, everything, etc. Um, again, you know, it just it. I want to say this borderline hobby, or as I said, like if you have to go out there and let's say you're an archaeologist, you know, and um, you know, you live off your RV, so it makes sense. There's definitely a need for it. And this is called Earth Roamer. How much it costs? That I'm at one point. <laughs> 695,000, The price of an Earth Roamer HD is 1.9 million plus, plus options. It's um, it's built on an F uh, five fifty, so it's very, very. This thing is pretty much a big rig, almost. I mean, it, this thing can haul a house, and it, which it is hauling a house. Um, I mean, I know a lot of people think about like you know nine eleven, Porsche nine eleven, and Ferraris. These things, this is the price of a house. It's more expensive than a house. So, um, but you can take, you can't move your house, and you can move this anywhere. So um, here's the benefit of it um it's just amazing um it's just it's uh, i don't know what to tell you the next one uh, i would not be doing that in it but hey i guess hey why not uh this is called the, the bliss mobile again as you could see this is literally i mean some of them are 10 wheel drive okay 10 six wheel drive four wheel drive i mean basically all the four wheels are moving maybe the front one too so that makes it a six wheel drive uh, the unit starts at 11 feet with 13 or 15, 6, 18. Oh man, you can just keep adding feet until up, up to 23 feet available. Of space price range from 240 to 575,000. Um, it's crazy. Uh, the frames are tested and resist damage uh, from accident and tripping. So they're basically making a very sturdy vehicle. That's why it shows you the, the car, well, the truck, well, the house, the, the, uh, the truck, literally, like a big rig, a lorry. A lorry uh, is doing things that I would not be doing the sand dooms, but it goes, hey, we can do it because it's luxurious, it's functional, and it's durable. Wow. And the price is kind of, I mean, compared to the other one I was showing you, the price is not bad. I mean, half a million compared to a, uh, I mean, starting price is 600000 700000 You know, the HD is 2 mil. So, now you be... I mean, it's crazy. It, that one is, there's a lot of technology going for it. You know, carbon fiber, camper body, lithium ion battery pack, digital electrical control system, frameless brush mount windows, full height bathroom with shower and cassette toilet and more. I mean, this seems to be like very luxurious. That's the one you want. You want. And this one, if you can, you can afford this one. I, it's amazing. There's so many options out there. The next one, we talked about this one already. So, Earth Cruiser. What is an Earth Cruiser? That looks like, again, you, you do a documentary hunting or just you're out there in, uh, out there, you know, just why not? You want to go out there. So, uh, found in Australia in 2009. Let's see the price of this thing. 600000 for the XP and the FX. The Earth Cruiser, the Renova build started for 340000 That's how much it starts. It's an F350. So, you start with an F350. All Ford. This is weird. All of them are Ford. Um. Again, it's house on wheels. It's an RV. The, the price is not that much. RVs can get really expensive. So uh, this is not really that far off. And it looks nice. I mean, I'm pretty sure you have a nice vacation in it. Uh, global expedition vehicle. Would intend to build a dream global expedition vehicle. Have a history of adventure. And so, okay, blah, blah, blah. Uh, uh, how much? 290,000, 700,000, 890,000. 1.7 million. <laughs> an highly option. The adventure truck at the starting point. Uh, the pat. Patagonia is the most popular. Ah, can't even read. The Patagonia is the most popular option, starting seven hundred thousand. Top of the. Oh my god. Oof. Again, um, I guess you know your adventure type. This is this is probably what you want. Uh, 
Again, they're capable. They don't have to go on gravel road. If you keep thinking, well, it's just like an RV. No, an RV will get stuck. An RV would not be able to drive here. Maybe on this very like gentle slope, an RV could make it, but the 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 rock the twisting the RV can literally this what it's all fiberglass the RV doesn't really like torsional load I don't know if you ever seen uh, um, if you can watch it on Top Gear when they when they're messing around with RVs you can tell like when you start taking sharp turns that thing twists and twists it's designed to resist some of the twists but not that much not when you're going off roading literally uh, these things don't have any issues with that action there we go speaking of action. Action mobile, I guess, is just design. This is the Rolls Mobile. Action mobile vehicle properly considered Rolls Royce of expedition vehicle with state of the art construction and constant material testing to ensure these expedition vehicles are built for life out of the best available material. That's amazing. In fact, uh, once you buy one of their vehicles, the team at Action Mobile will support owner with any issues around the globe as part of their business model. Whoa, that's a great when you think about it. They'll support anywhere in the world. Like, what you need? I need a spark. You got it. Um, again, they just look like military vehicle. I, I don't know. I like form over function. This looks like a very functional thing. Look at the tires. Everything about this is like, look, you can get a flat because these tires literally will fill up with air. It's just like a big rig. Uh, it's just a fascinating machine. Uh, 380,980, well, pretty much 1 million euro. Uh, 980,000, almost 1 million. Yeah. Hmm. That's amazing. All prices before tax. I don't know why you even mentioned that. I I feel like um, them mentioning the price is not really helping. <laughs> uh, Unicat. Hey, remember that's one of the beginning of the video? <laughs> that's supposed to be the Citrion of 1922. Uh, Unicat. Honestly, I know this company. That kind of familiar with This is stupid. Yeah, this this is this 3.4 million. <laughs> I'm laughing. It's 3.4 million dollar. Uh, but these things, look, they have 8x8, 10x10. I mean, the drive terrain could be 8x8, 10x10. This is just, they just build whatever you want. This thing is, I, I consider it literally a military vehicle, pretty much. Uh, but you live in it. It's just, um, it's fascinating. Uh, you know, if uh, you win a lottery and you want to go on a vacation, get one of these and just go. Uh, they're fantastic. Um, they're built, built in Germany and they have, obviously, here sport in the U.S., um i can't tell you any more about it it's just this is to me the cream of the crop uh several model of expedition vehicle built in germany the company was started by thomas rita and when he bought it they talking about the history of it the price range from six hundred fifty thousand, seven hundred ten thousand dollars up to 3.4 million it's crazy um but it talks about unica believes the direct contact between manufacturer and user is always best yeah when you pay that much um what's the difference between an expedition vehicle and an overland vehicle that's irrelevant just english they're the same thing uh let me keep the mouse here oh this is hilarious so you look at this machine and the first thing that comes across your mind is okay this is a uh uh, moon machine right it's something i will you know you crawl on the moon and, and you can see behind it the snow uh, this is great. This is giving an idea about gearing ratio. Remember, I talked about other videos about like the gear ratio. It makes a huge difference. Um, Seven hundred horsepower, seventy-four horsepower, and two hundred thirty-six foot pound of torque in this thing. It's a diesel, two point four liter diesel. Let's say this again: seventy-four horsepower. That's it. Two hundred thirty-six foot pound of torque, which you can tell. Like this, two point four liter is designed to just give you a torque. It's probably just like. 1000 rpm is already giving you 200 foot pound of torque and uh, you know 2000 rpm you're already at 236 foot pound of torque that's um this speed uh, is uh, um um 18.6 top speed 18.6 mile per hour but it could carry 30 22 people and a cargo of 3400 kilogram of cargo uh it's um it can go on any terrain. It can go on snow. It can go on dirt and snow. A uh, sand. This is an all-terrain vehicle. It looks fantastic. It looks bonkers. Uh, they don't mention the price for some reason. Because I would imagine the prices. I mean, they did mention over $3 million. So, I don't know. But, um, it's just crazy. But, uh, this will go anywhere. ATV can descend 40 degree grade, handle 30 degree cross slope. And operate a temperature between minus 100 and 140 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> <Just. laughs> um, I don't know why you need it. But again, if you have a 
you doing the tour guide of the Arctic <laughs> and uh, there's polar bears outside and you have some tourists. I think this is something that would work. That would definitely work. Um, a 2.4 liter, it doesn't take a lot of gas, and 18.6 mile per hour is fast enough when you're driving, when you're driving over glaciers and stuff, so I think this would, would be operated in. I love how you get in it. I think this is an amazing thing. It's called the Sharp, and it's an ATV all-terrain vehicle. It just looks bonkers. It's I like it. 330 gallon of fuel capacity it can give you 1,200 plus mile range. I mean, what are the literally there's a place for this car and it's definitely in the north arctic that's all i have to say if you go into an arctic and you want to go on an arctic expedition to see polar bears uh whatever how, how much left of them like two of them this is what you're gonna use if there's still ice up there of course and if there's no ice it'll be this mud then this could just go drive on it you know um anyways it was just like a little quick video right here of these things i hope uh, you learned something new yeah you maybe didn't know about them hey there you go now you know if you're like hey honey i don't want a house i want to buy a three million dollar um truck with a bed can i and she goes yeah honey sure so hey why not um you feel like you want to explore the amazonian jungle before they cut it all down well go ahead um you want to go to the arctic before it melts well all you need is three million and um you're good to go. I mean, I'm being sarcastic, but shoot, these things are not cheap, but they're engineered to build to last. And um, it's just wonderful. It's nice. I love cars. So there you go. That's a different genre of cars, expedition vehicles. Anyways, as always, thank you for watching. And as always, be safe out there and uh, take care. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.